less than two weeks until the regular season, which means there's football back in Frisco. And while there's a lot to do in that short time, a lot of unanswered questions, there's one thing that the Cowboys are pretty sure of. They have stars and third-year players, Ezekiel Elliott and Dak Prescott. Prescott has established himself as a leader on the team, both on the field and in the locker room, even taking over Jason Witten's old locker. The former rookie of the year, now a voice of the team. I mean, Dak's just doing what he does, man. Um, he just plays football, makes the right throws, makes good decisions, and um, he continued to do that in the game, and he's going to continue to do that um, as, as we go forward. Um, you know, the ceiling is, is so high for him, and um, we expect big things out of him, and, um, you know, he's going to ball. Dak is the guy QB1, that's obvious, but if we've learned anything lately with these injuries, the next man up must be ready at all times. That man is Cooper Rush, right now at least. Rookie Mike White may push for a third QB roster spot too. You try to evaluate them with what you're asking them to do. And ultimately quarterback, it's about moving the team, scoring points and winning games. You know, one of the things about Cooper Rush since he's been here, uh, typically, every time he goes in the game, good things happen. We move the ball, we score points. That was the case last year, you know, when he won that backup job, and and, and that's typically been the case in practice, uh, and uh, really up to this this game the other day. The plan is for Dak Prescott to start on Sunday against the Cardinals. It's their rehearsal game, but after that, the battle for backup QB continues. Reporting at the Star Sports tonight, I'm Adriana Torres. You're watching Sports Tonight, San Antonio's only nightly 30-minute sportscast with exclusive sports coverage you won't find anywhere else.